appreciate you being with me. Not gonna be too much longer than that. But as you know, today is the 80th anniversary of D-Day. Me being a former Navy veteran and stuff, I have to congratulate those men that sacrificed everything on that beach and normally and stuff so we can have our freedom and liberties today of what those men, brave men did eight years ago. And we owe them everything. So that's why I'm here fighting. That's why I'm here speaking out. Because we can't lose our country, our God-given rights and freedoms that those men put every day on the line for 80 years ago for some BS, corruption, and evilness that's going on today. We have to, we owe these men that. We have to do better, America. We have to wake up and get our shit together. Because those men that sacrifice every day, that damn D-Day, so we can be here, at least we can do is fight back, speak up, and get our country back. That's the least we can do for them. Me being a Navy better, I, I, I can at least salute them and get off my ass and do my best to get this country back. We got a lot of corruption, a lot of BS going on in this country. The fucking foulness, the entitlement, the bullshit. We got to do better, America. Like I said, Trump is one thing. Is just one um, riding the right from Joe Biden's time. But overall, as a country, as a nation, we got to heal. We got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. And we got to get to it. Or we're about to lose everything. It don't make no sense. Doesn't make any sense, but we will get back to it. And like I said, and Joe Biden, a Barrett's making us look so stupid the front of the world. And we're allowing him to go rumbling the stuff represent us on the 80th anniversary of D-Day. Him looking a fool in Flint. Look at this. I'm fucking Barrett's like a motherfucker. Hey, Barrett. Why? I don't know why we allow this. Why we won't get him impeached and have him sit his ass down due to medical reasons? Because right now we're, we're the laughing stock of the world. No wonder why the world's on fire. Wonder why the world's on fire. Look at this. If you didn't see the video earlier, this is sad. And as Americans, we should be all embarrassed and wonder why he's still in office. Even know what he's at and what's going on. Look at this. Distinguished guests, please welcome oh. the Honorable Lloyd J. Austin. Oh. Look at this. Distinguished guests, Look at this. Oh, please my welcome goodness. the Honorable he Lloyd. He just himself live in front of millions of people, even the old people in the back, like, what the hell? He just shot himself. They know what's up about the shit itself in living person. Even the French president looking like, God damn, this, this old fool. This is, I don't know, guys. We got to do better than that. One thing, yes, we have to vote for Trump. But at the same time, until then, we got a lot of work to do. Because they're not going to make it easy for us. This summer is about to be hot and heavy with all the bullshit they got us going through. Like Trump said, the invasion inside of our border right now. We got probably 19 to probably 30 million people that shouldn't be in our country right now. The inflation is killing the middle and lower classes. This is killing us. It feels like everybody feel the pinch. One way or another from everything you buy and do, it's too much. The, from the wars going overseas, these fools trying to push us to World War III. We got a lot of shit going on. Bird flu. They're trying to control our food supply. A lot of things are going on right now. And they're trying to keep you distracted with shit that don't matter. Now time, it's time to be focused. Time to stay focused on what's, what's happening here and what's going on in our country. What's going on in our politicians. What they're trying to do to ruin our lives. Our government hates us. Time to stay focused. Time to get real. Time to 
and time to get ready. You can take my words wherever you want, but you know, you see what's going on. Everything's adding up. You know I'm right. So don't don't sit around. Don't kick. Don't be like ah. Don't procrastinate. Don't be like ah. I'd be fine. It'd be all right. Ah, we'd be all right. Okay. Better get ready. Better start preparing. Cause we're in a spiritual warfare. We're a spiritual battle here. 